Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I receive you in my channel from my PJs with my robe on, chilling at home like I bet everybody is right now. <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't feel like looking like a person today. I just, whatever. And <laughs> um, it's funny, I was thinking this morning as I watched all of my favorite shows and all of like my version of the news, which is basically Trevor Noah's show. <laughs> that's today. Sh I think that's today's show. Now it's like the social distancing show. And there's a lot of shows like that that I watch that are now being filmed from the intimacy of people's homes and all of my, you know, favorite, um, I don't know, celebrities, I guess you could say. They're at, like at home in their PJs. It's so much more intimate. So I figured, what the hell? Woke up like this, feel good like this. I'm probably not gonna change anytime soon. <laughs> it is what it is. So, okay, let's go with you guys. What What is this reading gonna be about? This is gonna be a love reading for April, okay? This is a love reading for the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It really um, depends on how you wanna take this. So, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest. If something flows, great. If it doesn't, you know, there's tons of other readings out there that you can check out in my channel. I have a ton for Pisces. <laughs> and I'm going to be continuing to post a ton of them. So please make sure that if you resonate with the channel, if you resonate with the readings, make sure that you click on that subscribe button. We just got to 33k subscribers. So we're one third of a way to 100,000. <laughs> Which is a long way to go, but, you know, we'll get there at some point. Pisces. What is the universe bringing in for love to Pisces? Pisces Collective. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces in love. All right. Six of Cups. You may be dealing with a soulmate. You may be dealing with someone from the past. Maybe if you're currently in a relationship with someone, this could definitely be someone who you consider your soulmate. Um, however, if maybe you're connecting to a past ex or a past lover or someone who, from past lives, someone you connect very easily with, someone you just click with, um, this could be kind of like that past coming in to bring with it um, lots of beauty and kind of like romance and that nostalgic energy of reminiscing. So you may find yourself... In April, reminiscing about something, about maybe something that has been lost, about maybe something that, for any reason, wound up in the past. You've got the Strength card as well. So, with the Strength here, I would say that for some Pisces, it hasn't been easy to leave something behind. For some Pisces, it's a struggle to move on. It's a struggle to move forward. It's a struggle to not wonder what if. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Leo in your life, related to the subject or in other areas. But you're basically tapping into your own strength in April. So, I mean... If this is in relation in relation to the person from the past that we've been doing that reading about, like tons of reading about, tons of readings about, um, yeah, it hasn't been easy. Maybe the reason why this wound up in the past was because of abrupt realizations and awakenings and situations that were kind of emotionally intense for you guys. And at the end of the day, you know, structures within your life and within the other person's life crumbled in order for um, kind of like a transition to occur. And 
this is a good thing. <laughs> it may not be what you want necessarily. It may not be what you want to have happen. Meaning that many of you probably miss a person from the past and want to be with them. Or miss a person from the past and would really love to be with them if it wasn't toxic. You know what I mean? But here with the double card, it's like there's a toxicity that is left behind for the greater good of all involved. And you understand this and it's okay, you know, and it's part of the whole thing, but it's not necessarily your preference. There's a part of you that misses this person. There's a part of you that has to kind of like come to accept something. Some of you guys feel maybe rejected or abandoned or sad about something with the five of pentacles here left out in the cold about something but this is something from the past and if it's not something from the past in this incarnation it's something from the past from a past life but it is a connection that is deep runs deep runs strong Now, how would this apply, all of these cards, if you are in a current relationship right now, romantically speaking? Well, this would bring the message to you guys in particular that this person is a soulmate and you can grow strong with this person. You can overcome any um, structural changes in both your life, their life, everybody's life. Like, obstacles in the relationship can be overcome, temptations can be overcome, but know that in some shape or form, like, if you want to spend the rest of your life with this person, it is normal for a relationship, well, <laughs> for a relationship to have ups and downs. So you may find yourself experiencing these ups and downs with this person, um, saying like, okay, we're going through a difficult patch. We're going through a moment in which there's bad habits or tendencies or negative, you know, kind of like self-sabotage occurring. There's going to be phases in which maybe your life changes completely or maybe their life changes completely. And there's sort of like a restructuring that needs to take place and an adaptation response that needs to happen. And the more you go through these things with your person, the stronger the relationship is going to get, okay? So this is actually something that you can find a silver lining about. However, it may be, it may be tainted in some shape or form by you feeling rejected or by you feeling abandoned. But that is something, Pisces, that you're going to have to work on within yourself. If that makes sense. I don't see this as the relationship ending. I don't see this as something breaking you guys up. I don't see that. We've got the king of crystals in this case, but it's the king of pentacles. So this card usually speaks about maybe a Capricorn, a Virgo, a Taurus, or someone who maybe can be another sign but has strong earth energy. This literally appeared in the reading I did this morning for you guys. So you could be dealing with someone who has a lot on their plate. As you see here, this guy is kind of like juggling many pentacles. This person has a very pure heart and they want you, Pisces. If you're in a relationship, this could be your person. If you're not in a relationship, this could be someone external to you who's looking at you from afar. And they want you. They, they want to get to know you. They feel interested. Especially in your heart. This is an interest that is genuine, that is pure, that is authentic. This is not a person who's just looking to screw you over, if you know what I mean. Like... This is not a person that's playing. This is someone who's actually interested in you. This is someone who takes pride in their career or their work. They pay attention to their finances. They like to have things in order, their routine, their things. It's, it's someone that's very grounded. And as I mentioned, it may not be that sign necessarily, but it does. it's a person that has these qualities, okay? And this person is definitely looking at you. 
three of crystals. So three somethings. <laughs> This is a card, pentacles are usually associated with the physical realm. So money, career, projects. You may be dealing with three important projects that you're working on right now. You may be dealing with um, a team of three people working together in order to achieve a goal. You may be dealing with a love triangle in some cases. A third party situation in which maybe you are with your partner, but at the same time there's someone that is contemplating you for afar from afar or you are contemplating from afar or they're in a relationship and you're kind of on the sidelines looking at them you know there's a bit of everything here i wish it could be more specific guys but since there's so many pisces watching these videos it tend the message tends to dilute itself a little bit but let's see what else is coming through messages for single pisces Messages for single Pisces. Some of you guys are working on your spiritual development, your spiritual abilities, your connection to spirit in general. Some of you guys are perhaps wishing for a Taurus or being admired by a Taurus. This could be your partner as well, but there's a Taurus here somewhere this could be someone who's admiring from afar or admiring I can't even speak right now oh my god admiring you from afar what additional messages are here for single Pisces single Pisces what's up with this thing okay let's do this differently I never do this not really but I feel called to There's so many ways to read cards, guys. And I am not someone who likes to stick with just one method. I kind of flow. So I asked for a storyline. So let's see what is coming through. I'm going to be popping all of the cards here. It's kind of like a different... It's not even a spread. It's just like a sequencing of the cards. And I don't do reversals, guys. Also keep that in mind. I got the Ten of Swords, the Four of Crystals, Two of Crystals. We've got the Queen of Cups. Okay. So Pisces, you may be juggling something. You may be thinking, is this better for me or is that better for me? How would I feel if I do this? How would I feel if I do that? It's like you're contemplating two possibilities here, but you're trying to keep your cards close to your chest, meaning that you don't want to risk maybe one of the options because you're contemplating both of the options, you know what I mean? But there is analysis going on. And there is a potential ending to something here. And it's something that you're feeling intuitively that it's the right thing. You are kind of like connected to... Ooh, I suddenly got really drained. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio you're dealing with. This person can be <sighs> I drained I got like super drained super fast. Um this person can be <laughs> in Spanish it would be caprichoso. Caprichosa. It's like it's not picky because it's not as far as like selecting things. It's kinda like Caprichoso, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I know that you probably don't speak sp Spanish, but if any of you do, what would be the translation for caprichoso? It's like high maintenance, picky, detail oriented, but in a bad way. I feel like everything has to be perfect or, you know. Can you see her face? You know, like, do you see her attitude? She's like, I want things to be my way. I don't know. You could be dealing with perhaps a Scorpio, male or female.
Oh, did I shuffle? No. Okay, so there is a new potential beginning with this person in love. There could be something beautiful that appears with a water sign. But there's trust issues, whether from you towards this person or this person towards you. There, this, this, the Seven of Swords is a card that is often associated with um, lack of trans transparency, lack of clarity. So this could manifest as one of the, like you wishing for something and the other person wishing for something else, not being in the same page or not being completely clear on what is it that the other person wants or maybe not being completely clear about what you want. It's kind of like a lack of clarity in essence. But this person might be afraid that you are um, someone who's not trustworthy or you are afraid that there's a water sign that is not trustworthy in your life. A new beginning could, could appear here with the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is a beautiful new beginning in love. But there's this concern, whether it is from your side towards them or vice versa. Then we have the Four of Wands. This is a card of stability. This is a card of marriage. This is a card of um, possibility, success, happily ever after, long-term happiness. So for those of you who are single, those of you who are looking, those of you who are interested in someone who can, who can be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio... Um, there is a lot of potential here, but just know this person is picky. This person is not, could be complicated. I'm still looking for the word. I haven't really found the right word that I'm trying to express. They can be difficult altogether, but there could also be something beautiful. But someone is focusing on the negative, not the positive. Someone is focusing on the spilled milk. This appeared also in, in this morning's reading. In the spilled milk, instead of all of the um, cups that are full and that are good. So if you're a Pisces that is single and you're looking to meet someone new, there is a potential that you're going to be only seeing the negative and you're not going to be seeing all of the bucks that are checked from this person. Vice versa, it also applies. So maybe there's a person looking at you. Maybe this um, earth sign, perhaps, or this water sign could be thinking about you and focusing on that one little box that you don't check instead of all the others that you do check. It's got the queen of wands. This is someone who's very charming, very handsome, very beautiful. Someone who has a way with words. This is someone who has that kind of like celebrity factor to them. Um, this could be talking about you. This could be talking about the other person. There's very fast moving energy. Whoa. Jeez. Sorry, this is kind of like a book I'm reading. <laughs> It's getting interesting. Wow. Okay. Let me organize this a bit. Some of you guys may be dealing with a fire sign as well. I mean, honestly, at this point, when that happens and there's like a lot of elements in the table, I wouldn't even say that it matters. You know what I mean? Like just whoever you're dealing with, take the messages as they apply. There is fast moving energy, someone who is moving far and fast into success or into happiness or into abundance. Maybe one of the persons is moving really fast towards the other. This could be travel. This could be um, traveling something somewhere new, different city, different country. Right now we're not really able to travel, so I would say that perhaps this um, has more of a connotation of fast-moving communication or connection. Um, however, 
if this is talking about the future and, or you can still travel because your country is not, you know, restricted by stuff. Um, this is someone moving really fast, traveling really fast to get to know someone who could be a, a fire sign. But I feel like this person is very charismatic, very charming, very handsome, very um, beautiful, very bright. For some of you, this could be, as I mentioned, Aries, Leo, Sag. But for others of you, look how interesting this is. We've got the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands, which is basically when two these two cards come together, they're talking about a person. And they came in the sequencing of the cards, King and Knight. So these are masculine energies, most likely, from these signs. And then look at this. We have also the king and the knight, but in this case of the water element. So that would be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You're very objective about this person, Pisces. You see the good, you see the bad. You would like to start something new in the physical realm, but that may not be possible. Because there may be distance between you guys, there may be issues between you guys, there may be differences that are just simply not going to allow things to unfold if, in the way that you would like it to. Not right away, at least. But you're in the right path, though. So maybe this person is bringing something into your life that you need. Maybe this person is bringing a lesson, an awareness, a clarity, or maybe you're in their life for a reason as well. So there is a reason behind it all. We've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is a new beginning. This is a powerful, beautiful new beginning in communication, in exchange of thoughts, exchange of ideas, clarities, aha moments, heart-to-heart conversations, no, not heart-to-heart -heart conversations, mind-to-mind -mind conversations. And also with the Ace of Wands here, this is a new fire being ignited. Oh, no, that's not. Yeah. Something that would make you feel very emotionally fulfilled. Something that you as a high priestess, as that connection to spirit would really benefit from. Something that can nurture your high priestess side. So someone who's very spiritual or someone who's very connected or very much a channel for light to come through the physical realm. This could be either you dealing with someone with these qualities or you being seen by this person as this kind of like spiritual being. It's important for you not to give up right away. It's important for you to um, sort of like push through things with that fire sign or with that water sign. Um, this is this is a card of don't giving not giving up. This is step number nine in a ten steps step villa. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> this is the step number nine in a ten step staircase. Try to say that three times in a row. It's like, Pisces, you may be dealing with someone, because this is for the single Pisces, remember that. You may be dealing with someone who has the potential to be important in your life, has the potential to turn into something real, something good. But there's ups and there's downs. There's ups and there's, there's downs. Maybe there's someone in this relationship that is um, bipolar. Maybe you or the other person or both. Or there's kind of like these up and down, up and down tendencies within your actions or your dynamics. At the end of the day, Pisces, I do have to say, I don't see you guys together kind of like a happily ever after as much as I see you guys learning and growing and evolving together. 
So if you're interested in that, by all means. If you're not interested in that, do as you need to. Okay? Now, moving into the single, no, the coupled Pisces. Let's see what's up. I like this whole pyjama no makeup thing. I'm enjoying quarantine so much, guys. I'm such an introvert. I love it. There's no one on the streets. There's no traffic. There's no one anywhere. <laughs> I feel like the last survivor of the end of the world here in Panama. <laughs> I don't see anyone around. But it's so nice. It's so quiet. I feel like my energy is so... Unburdened. I like it. Okay, so... Couple Pisces. Pisces. Okay, so there is a temptation. There is a, a temptation to go into either habits, tendencies, or things that you know are not good for you right away. These are not things that serve you, but these are things that feel really good, like on the immediate basis. Um, but your tendencies, your desires, your temptations may lead you or someone to feel abandoned, to feel rejected, to feel sad. But there's a wish fulfillment here, though. There is a wish fulfillment... There could be a love triangle, there could be a third party situation, there could be a wish fulfillment as far as getting something that you've always wanted. I see four full moons here. So right now I think we're in the new moon in Aries. Full moon, full moon, full moon, full moon. So by the time the full moon comes, you may realize that you have found Pisces, a wish fulfillment. You may see yourself fulfilled in a new way. Romantically. You may be in a love triangle getting to know someone new who has a lot of potential. This could be a very lovely partnership with perhaps a earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This guy keeps coming up. This guy keeps coming up. But this, in this moment, this person is not looking at you. This person is looking at the future. They're wondering about the future. They're wondering about the future with you. They're wondering about what can be built. But they're also looking at your past. Three again. Could be a Cancer. We've got the Chariot. Could be a Taurus. It's hard for you to get on the same page with this person. You see the world so differently. And that's no one's fault. So, yeah. With the Chariot here, this is a card of Cancer, specifically. So... This could be someone who takes charge of their life, someone who moves forward fast, who knows what they want. Um, or this could be you taking charge of this situation. But there could be a little bit of conflict, as I mentioned, just kind of like a hard time getting into the same frequency or the same um, vibe with another person. Um, there could be difference in spiritual beliefs or understandings, dynamics, the way you see life and the way they see life, it's different. Um, this could be your partner or this could be someone external to you. I'm getting the feeling that this is someone external to you who you feel maybe attracted to or interested in. Um, with the Ten of Swords, this, there's an ending here, okay? So something is coming to an end. 
And something is helping you see things from a different perspective. There's peace. There's serenity. The decision that has been made is the right one. You are moving away from turbulent energies. You're moving away from toxicity. You're moving away from everything that is not serving you. And entering a higher space. With perhaps a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And you are taking good stock of what you have. You're protecting what you have. You're keeping your cards close to your chest with this person. So I see it as many, some of you guys, maybe some of you guys are in a relationship with an earth sign or, a, or an air sign. And there could be kind of like a water sign around, which is something that has appeared for months now in the readings. Remember that, that person from the past? Um, whether past life or past experience, this has been coming up for months, the, the appearance of this water sign. So you could be in a relationship with uh, air or earth, and this other person kind of like appears and shakes up things a little bit, but then it seems like you find your stability with a new perspective with the person you're currently with, or in the relationship i hope this makes sense in some shape or form i know that it may not it's fine two of crystals the juggling of two queen of cups the sun temperance death ace of cups seven of swords four of wands yeah okay that, and that the whole reading repeats itself. So, someone could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Clarity comes in in the future about the situation. Clarity comes in, shines a light, shines on your mind in your mind space and this other person so there is going to be a resolution a conclusion a clarity and ha moment about whatever is going on whatever this um dynamic connection uh was supposed to bring in for you for some of you guys there is potential for some of you guys there is potential with maybe someone new so if you don't feel um at ease in your relationship or you don't feel good This person that arrives can shake you up. Something transforms and there's an emotional new beginning. So maybe the relationship you're in transforms due to the appearance of this person. Or your romantic um, situation changes and shifts because of someone that appears. And that may bring higher levels of stability for you in the future. <laughs> this person has been trying to manifest you or what you represent. Someone is... Um, Feeling kind of negative, someone is kind of focusing on the spilled milk, someone is kind of like focusing on the things that are not right, trying to hide from those negative emotions in work, giving themselves over to work, trying to be focused on work, not thinking about it. This could be both people. And there's fast movement, movement forward within the careers of both parties involved. This could be a fire sign. But there's confusion. It's like, right now, as you listen to this reading, you don't know what's going on. And you don't know what is gonna come, like happen. You don't know. And this person doesn't know. And it's all blurry. Blurry and foggy and confusing and nobody knows what's going on. But you will. The sun is here, so it's gonna shine light when probably on the full moon mark my words mark it on your calendar if this is resonating 
So yes, my fishies, this is what I have for you on my PJs today. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much for joining me in the intimacy of my home. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be posting more readings with my face. You know that sometimes I feel inclined to, but the vast majority of times it's just like my hands, the cards. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I am very happy and excited to be sharing with my fishy, fishies, with my Pisces. Um, also, guys, know that even though this is kind of like the Pisces club, I am going to be posting readings for all signs once monthly. So everybody's going to get their monthly reading. And then there's going to be like a thousand readings for Pisces, if that makes sense. Because before we started paying attention to Pisces, um, a lot of the subscribers were different signs. And I want to honor everybody that's here. I want to really um, bring the assistance, the advice, the insights hopefully if people find them helpful to all of the signs okay i'm gonna leave below this video no i'm not i'm not gonna leave my website my website is going through a little bit of a something it's kind of like a little glitchy and weird um so we have to t take all the products down for a second there and the time we work on it and fix it so i'm not gonna leave any links <laughs> below and if you have by any chance purchase, purchased meditations, courses, and things like that, please make sure to, and have any questions, please make sure to write to awakenedwildchild at gmail.com. Dorsa, my assistant, is going to help you with everything that you may need help with. Users, passwords, glitches, random stuff going on on the website, okay? I love you guys. Bye.